Hello there viewers and welcome back to another live stream today and as you can tell I have finally got myself a camera just checking that everything's actually working yeah I think this is uh, working yes, it is. Uh, so yeah hello welcome to this stream I have got a camera it arrived today in the post and I've been setting up before now uh, apologies for everything being a bit late uh, those who are racing uh, if you're watching this back I have a pain having to do a million things just now as I need to also program this race just remember that uh, so what I'm going to do is put you over to the intermission screen for a second and I will be racing in about two minutes time. So if I press this button here, I will disappear. Goodbye. Okay, so if everything is working, you should now be able to see me as I have now gone and sorted out the settings for this race. So yeah, that's all working, so let's get going. So what we are doing today then, we're doing another fun race following on from Tuesday's race and we are racing around uh, Sardinia Windmills 2, track I've never raced around before, never even driven around before, and I've done about two laps of practice, um, so this is not going to go well. Um, yeah, so let's change my seat. So I've had no preparation for this. This has been a very last set, no, last minute thing. To be honest, I didn't even think that this event was going ahead. I thought we were going to have to abort this. Because I've also got a bit of a weird sound glitch going on right now. I hope you can hear me. Um, there's a good chance you can't, but I hope you can. And I hope the sound's working all right. Hopefully the camera audio isn't also playing. I uh, yeah, was fiddling around with things not that long ago. So starting on pole for this first race then. Got no traction control. We've all just got a full start glitch. Right, okay, everyone just got a full start. What on earth happened there? And I've got a weird sound glitch, got an echo, alright. I'm gonna have to make do with this then. That was very strange. I was just holding the handbrake down and the car just went and got a full start. Oh, this is weird, this sound. I hope the sound's alright for you guys. It's definitely not for me. This could be a lobby glitch to be fair. This might not be a glitch on my end. Right, lap one and two. We've got three. Oh, restart. Okay, yeah, see that. Shane <laughs> Dice View is in reverse. <laughs> right, don't know what's happened here. Shane dies in reverse. I've got two lots of sound. We've got Chris Farker stuck on the grid. <laughs> okay, this is not going well. What is going on, GT Sport? <laughs> right, yeah. What I'm trying to explain, what we're doing, is we're doing the, um, like, Rallycross Series test event fun race thing at the moment. 
Just sort of throw some. I still got the sound glitch. If I. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. There's all kinds of glitches. This is the most unprepared, glitchy mess going. Oh, what is going on here with the grid? We've got. Oh dear, oh dear, it's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong, guys. <laughs> it's GT Sport for you. I'm looking over at my um, computer, by the way. That's what I'm looking at now. Making sure that everything's correct. Everything's working. How many Dutch shots? Yeah, that was that was really strange, really strange. If that happens again, I'm going to set up a new lobby because this lobby appears to be a bit screwed. This is yeah a bit messed up. There's my uh, car settings. For anyone who's interested. I, John Hardy saying it was a chain reaction. I don't think it was. I don't think it was a chain reaction. I think it was a glitch with the game where everyone got released at once. And then got a variety of different full start penalties. I mean, I got a seven second penalty. I seem to be one of the worst off then. Others didn't get quite so much of a penalty. That was very odd. Just seeing who we're still waiting for. Uh, we are still waiting for... No one. Everyone's back. Right, as soon as Anki Dash is entered, we'll be ready to go. Just join the room now, Anki Dash. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, Johnny Waffle just quit. Oh, he quit after I'd already started. This is going well. Ah! Oh, I'm just going to go with that um, unless we have another lobby glitch. This is not a championship or anything. I've only got one lot of sound now as well, so I think that was a lobby issue. I don't think that was me. I, don't, I have no idea why I would have two lots of sound. Yeah, sounds fixed. Right, away we go then, for heat number one of the MRL Rallycross series. Like I say, I've done like one, one and a half lap of practice. Oh, I braked a bit late then. I can save it though. <laughs> oh, someone's up my inside. Oh, don't hit me. I just saw someone flying into shot on the radar. It's John Hardy. Right, we're in the lead then. So I've got a front, middle and back start today. So this race, starting at the front, I'll be starting in the mid pack in the next race, and I'll be starting last in the final race. Learning on the fly here. Never driven around the truck before, not in this direction. I've driven around it the other way. I kind of know it in the other direction, but no idea where I'm going in this direction. Completely foreign to me. Oh, I got hit! Oh, that's, that was a forceful move from Mike Bisham. It made it, it's a good chance he had no control over that because he was probably just sliding into the corner. But that was still very forceful. That was a very bad run through there. Let's just turn up the game volume. Oh, he's just taken that well. I didn't. Oh, I break too late. I break too late. Break too late. Break too late. Whoops! Forgot there was a corner. I'm here. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got hit from behind. It was a bit of a mess then. <laughs> Me and Nathan, Apex Magnet side by side then. And Shane just I just went. Nope. Get out of the way. Mike Bishop is very, very good. Very good, especially in this Rallycross series. Very good the other day. 
It's only a, well, a red driver now. It was a blue driver, now a red driver. It's, it shouldn't be. <laughs> it should be a gold driver at least. I'm just going to follow him because he seems to know what he's doing. Copy his lines. I kept up with him on that lap. Six laps this. So about um, six minutes. The heat, six, seven, eight minutes, something like that. Yeah, I think it's about an eight minute heat. Oh, too late again. Whoops. I keep forgetting there's a corner. That corner, he just appears. You can't see it. And then, oh, whoops, I'm in the wall. Right. Just caught Mike up through there. Now his move on me was very forceful. Now I'm not going to return the favour, but if there is contact between us, then I've kind of uh, yeah, I'm not got an excuse. But yeah, right. So I'm into lead then. Might just start breaking stuff then. Hopefully this stream is working. Do let me know in the live chat if it isn't. There's a good chance it isn't because this is a very impromptu thing. This camera literally arrived in the post at about 2 o'clock this afternoon. So from now on, whenever I live stream, you should see my face. Obviously when I'm commentating I'll turn the camera off, but yeah. Certainly when I'm doing like a driving stream, you should be able to see my face. And you'll be able to see my face in far better quality as well in my videos. I have up until now been using my iPhone as I outbreak myself again there. But now I've got myself a proper camera, it's a Sony ZV-1, if anyone wants to know. £600 it cost me, so it better be good. It's just in the basic settings as well, so apologies for it not looking very good at the moment. I need to fill around with all kinds of things in settings, like colour and stuff. Just let it, let it in a, left it in auto mode at the moment. Going a bit deep there, so I need to break at that orange bridge. It's the orange banner. That's the conclusion that I'm currently coming to for that corner. This corner, I have no idea how to take it. I think go in tight, then come out wide, then cut back in is the idea. As my iPhone just fell off my rig. Okay, end of lap four. Got Mike just there. Gotta uh, put a good lap in here. Right. That's a lot better. Not being brave enough on the exit there, not, get, not getting close to those barriers at all. Need to. Uh, whoa. No. Okay, got the gap up to 1.7 seconds, but he's still there. I'm only going to make one mistake. Like that, where I just hit the wall. In these cars, when you hit the wall, you just go so far wide. I think it's because you've got such little grip, it just fires you off miles. Okay, as in the lap 5. I did a 1 minute 20.0 in practice, that was the one lap that I did, so I'm not on the pace here. Okay, that was too early I think. So break after the blue barrier on the left, but before the Sardinia side over the top of the track.
Oh no, that was the wall. Looks like Mike's made some mistakes so unfortunately gas got chuck. the gap was about three seconds in. Apologies by the way if you can hear my fan in the background. Um I need to have it on, otherwise I'm just gonna die of heat exhaustion, so apologies for that. Right, out of the final corner then, and up to the line. What's that lap time going to be? 99. Felt like a decent lap, that one. That was the only one where I didn't make a big mistake. Right, so that was race number one then. And it's now time for heat two. Um, but for, for this, obviously you need to program the grids and sort everything out. Um, so I will see you all once I've done that. So see you in a minute. Right, we should be working again now. I think you could hear the audio in the background, by the way, um, during that music, so apologies for that. But I think we're all ready to go. I've also just raised the camera up, so my head's not quite so chopped off. Um, although it's a little bit more, still a little bit chopped off. 
Right, let's go. So heat two then. Flipped the grid. Uh, area 602 just had to leave. Uh, they had to go to bed. But everyone else is still here. So the people who started in fifth place downwards are now starting at the front. They've been pushed four places forwards and everyone else has gone four places back. That's basically what's happened here. Right, so starting then in uh, fifth place for myself. Yep. This was good fun, that previous race. I think this one would be good fun as well. Got no traction control in these cars, which I, I quite like. It means you can properly spin up the wheels out of the corners. But it does mean you have to be careful at the start. Can't just floor it. Shane just jumped the start. All right, where we go then for heat number two. Already made a place up as Sh Shane jumped the gun. Oh, what's happened there? It's like Charles Snyder's pulled out of it. Or backed out then. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mike's getting a bit vicious. Oh, they're going to hit me here. Going to give them a wide berth. Jeez, Mike came in a bit savage then. <laughs> Just kaboosh to Irish Tony. Okay, up into B2. Oh, Shane Dyer's got problems. Oh, we're in the lead. What happened to Johnny Waffle? Alright. I made a Johnny. Shane was quit. Stuck in reverse for you. I had that glitch the other day myself. Seems to be a new glitch that's come to GT Sport. I had to exit and re-enter fix it. Actually happened when I was practicing for Tuesday. Last Tuesday. Okay, we're in the lead then. Have we started in fifth place? And let's try breaking there. Should have used the handbrake then. Right, that feels better through there now. Starting to get the hang of that hairpin section. I'm learning with that right hander there is to make sure you keep the car pointing straight under braking don't let it slide because then the ABS has to kick in like there's no tomorrow and you barely slow down ah I can take the corner flat out right okay didn't realise that oh that bump did not Treat my car well. 199. Oh, that nearly broke my wrist then. And my wheel really just snapped on me then. Oh, no, that's the wall. Don't do that. I haven't got quite as much of an attendance tonight. I uh, tried a different way of setting this event up where I didn't invite people and just let people uh, join. I didn't invite everybody on Facebook. I thought I'd uh, try that, see what effect that has on the attendance. Turns out, quite a negative effect. I had to invite everybody in the end. Facebook didn't bother to uh, notify people that I had posted in the group. Coming to the lap three, then. I mean, a bit of a try hard mode at the moment. Just trying to get up to speed, set some good lap times, try and work out what the braking points are, etc. etc. Need 
to remember to carry more speed through that, so that last race. I really enjoy these rally cars. They're good fun to drive and they're a nice change as well. From that, you know, all downforce group 3 cars kind of thing. too much sliding then could get the power down. Besides battling going on. Yeah look at this trap I think it's a throw away fight for a second here. Oh no that didn't like that. That bump just sent me off in completely the wrong direction then. So Shane's rejoined. I would imagine he's turned his PlayStation off and on again. Set up a new lobby for the next race if I have to. Shay still has problems. Oh, when it's too hot then. Oh, that was the wall. This has been a really bad lap. I can't seem to hit my apex through there anymore. I was fine through that corner and now I'm all over the shot through there. That was a good turn two. That's better closer to that wall, carrying the speed out of there and then through this section. It's gone really well a couple of laps ago. I'm struggling to recreate it. We've got a really nice cutback. So that secondary bump is what it's doing me through there. It's like two jumps. I right, come up to the line. Is this going to be an improvement? It is. Well, that was a big improvement. 18.8. All right. So that was heat two then. I hope you did enjoy watching that. It was a bit boring, I admit. I think there was a big punch up going for a second then, big punch up going on between uh, yeah, Mike, John and uh, Tony, they've just changed positions now, John and Tony. The lighting by the way, I'm going to sort this out, I know it's quite dark at the moment. I uh, I have got a lamp which I can use as lighting, that works alright. And I might get some proper lighting as well in the future, some like photography, proper lighting like you find on a photo shoot. Okay, so I'll put you back onto the intermission screen then and see you in a few minutes time and goodbye.
Okay, so that should be us up and running now. I think I've set the grid correctly, although I think I may have messed it up, but anyway. Oh, there we go. So heat number three then. I'm starting in at last place, starting down in eighth. Hopefully uh, Shane's got his glitch sorted out. Hopefully he can actually see where he's going this time. I'm aware as well, my camera has quite a blue tint to it. I need to uh, yeah, sort out the white balance at some point. Right, so heat number three then. Starting at the back with Mike starting in front of me, Mike Bisham. And away we go. I think I should just be flooring it, you know, off the start. Oh, round the outside. Oh, can I sneak up everyone's inside? Oh, this is going to get messy. This is going to get messy. Too many cars <laughs> going into that corner at once then. Oh, they're going to hit the wall, they're going to hit the wall. Oh, I just slotted between them then. Oh, I got punted. I've been punted. Who was that? Who just did that? I was breaking perfectly in time for that corner then. Got punted off into the wall. Oh, what? Jesus Christ, that's a flat out corner, Johnny. I mean, you go past, but you did just slam the brakes on in a flat out corner. Alright, five seconds is the gap to Shane. Oh no, Jesus. Jeez, I got punted again. I'm going down to last it. I was battling for the lead just then, or for second. Right, go on, let's pump in some 118s, or go into the wall like that. Jesus, that was savage from Angry Dash. <laughs> Doesn't look like people are... Of, uh, wait, where to break yet for these corners? I'm seeing a lot of people go flying up into the wall. Right, there's right, there's apex magnet. Shane's getting away though, yeah. Gap's going up, not down. Oh, they're all in the wall. R.I.P. Mike. Get the undercut on Tony. I think I just ma I think I just managed to do it then. Oh, we're still side by side. Going down for this right hand up. Oh no, I'm sitting on the radar. Oh, keep him out of the wall. Yes, just about hang it around the outside. Oh, Tony just hit me. Very forceful stuff there from Tony McMullen. He just completely punched me out of the way. I'm getting shunted off it. I don't believe in retaliation, but <laughs> have that. Right, 
Gosh, Shane's still increasing his lead. I don't know if I can catch him yet. Should be able to catch John, hopefully. Not if I keep doing that. What happened there? I think that bump just uh, sent me off in the wrong direction then. That jump. We've got a really awkward bounce off that then. Right, I'm not going to win this. <laughs> I'm not winning this. I'm getting hit again. Come on, guys. I'm not your break. About five times I've been punted now. Did uh, make a mess up on my own though in uh, their defence through here last lap. So I can't, I haven't just got them to blame, I've got myself to blame as well. Shane's absolutely flying, 99. He's a uh, one to look out for then in the final. Obviously, he had to quit the first two races due to having that silly glitch where he was looking behind the whole time. Whoa! <laughs> Hello, Tony! Thank you. Alright, up into third. I've got a three and a half second gap to John. If I get my head down, I might be able to get yeah, get down by the end of this lap. Oh, did get a good slide going on then. Ah, come on, get the power earlier. I need to remember that corner opens up. It's not really a hairpin, that last bit. If anyone's ever wondered why this track is called Sardinia Windmills, by the way, just look at the windmills that are around the side of the track on the inside and the outside. Oh, I should take fastest lap point in this race at least. Okay, couldn't catch John. Oh no, no, I spoke too soon. Just gone the stupid wall. Ah, I was going to get fastest lap then. Urgh. Just ping myself off into the wall. Right, well there was heat three, that was rough. That was very rough. Every person who over it then just punted me back out of the way. It felt like. Uh, so yeah, that's heat three. And next up is the final, which is a bit of a fatter program. So that will be a few minutes until you see me again. So see you then.
Okay, so we are ready then for the final, and it's getting quite dark by the way, so apologies if you're struggling to see my face. That's what I was saying earlier, I'll get some lighting sorted out at some point. Alright, let's go for the final. So I'm starting on pole position with Apex Magnet second, you've got Mike Bisham in third, Irish Tony fourth, Kwame in fifth, you've got Anchor Dash sixth, uh, Shane Dye in seventh, and then Johnny Waffle starting in eighth place. Apologies, by the way, if you couldn't hear the car audio in that previous race. I think I forgot to unmute it. So, starting in first. I need to sort out a system in OBS, a way to mute the uh, desktop audio when I'm in the intermission screen. So, rolling start for this race. So that you... Uh, don't go all the way through the heats, put all this effort into the heats to qualify and pile and then just get punted off at turn one, that's why we've got a rolling start. Hopefully I haven't just uh, jinxed myself then, hopefully I'm now not about to get punted off at turn one. John Hardy right behind me, Apex Magnet. I'll break myself then into turn three. Right too early then. Thought, thought I did. Okay, decent first lap then. If not a little bit cautious, but I'd rather do that than crash it and go flying down the order. That, those bumps, those jumps are so difficult to get right. You get slightly wrong and you're spun, as we saw in the previous race. Oh, gaps up to two seconds. That's good. Looks like John's crit off, gone into a wall somewhere. Oh, not the wall. That's the epitome of hitting your apex, that. Quite literally hit it. Five. All right. Can I do a one seventeen? I don't think there's a grip difference between the gravel and the grass. It doesn't appear to be one. If there is one, it's not noticeable. That sort of worked that line. As I click the wall on exit. Try a bit of an extravagant line in then. Did a bit of a Scandinavian flick into the corner. That kind of works. Anki Das, <laughs> oops, I think she's in the process of rage quitting right now. 
I think Neha may be having some difficulties. She did say she wasn't even going to do this race. She said she was just going to spectate. And clearly after uh, two laps she's decided that yeah, she, she's going to revert back to spectating. Stop hitting that wall. Got the gap up to three seconds now, three and a half seconds. End of lap four, then should be a good lap. This set the second half of the lap felt good, yeah. 18 7. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm surprised I haven't got any barrier collision penalties in this race. They are, they are turned on, I checked they were. I saw Mike Bishop had a one second penalty in the previous race, so they clearly are on, but they seem to be taking quite a lot to trigger. Oh no, the wall again. Getting greedy for that left hander now. That's going to catch me out at some point. Although it may look like I'm dominating this race, it only takes one spin and I'm going to fly down the order. I'm certainly go down to second. Mike Bishop was really quick in race one. But he's had tr trouble since then, seemingly. I'm starting to get our final corner right now. Satisfying when you get that right. No, don't hit the wall. Hit the wall. Should probably break a bit earlier for that corner. Get going in quite deep. Swear picks in. Should have come off those. Should have come off the brakes sooner. Oh, no, got that all wrong. I was on a decent lap then, not anymore. I really enjoy this circuit. I prefer this in this direction, you know. I prefer this just to the uh, the normal Sardinia when there was one track. Really enjoy this. Really enjoy these cars. Everyone who's driving them seems to be enjoying them. Everyone yes uh, on Tuesday really enjoyed it and everyone seems to be enjoying it today as well. Except for Manky Dash. Struggling to get that corner right. It's 
Seven turns up. Of course, for 117 at the moment. That wasn't great. Oh no! Got that completely wrong. Went, uh, went in a bit deep into that left hander then. Oh, 18 1. I'm pleasantly surprised, to be honest, that this stream has worked. I'm pleasantly surprised that the computer hasn't crashed like normal. And I'm surprised that this camera's working as well, probably. Bearing in mind, I've literally just unboxed it, plugged it in, and gone, go. Do any test streams or anything with it. That's how I should have taken that corner last lap. Ah, I'm getting that final corner wrong again now. Need to try and remember how I was doing it. Oh goodness me! That's that's why you uh, don't let off. Just click that wall then, and it uh, rather screwed me over. I've got a bat marker in front of me. <laughs> Looks like Johnny Clark is not having a good time here. Oh, nearly went to the wall. Too busy looking at Johnny. Breaking just at the change of direction for that for this right hand up, letting it go out wide, then gradually cutting back in. Who knows is that uh, Johnny's currently invisible? It's because I turned on ghostly back markers just for that reason, in case that something like that happens. And as we come out the final corner, then up to the finish line, we are going to win my own event, which is a little bit embarrassing take first place ahead of John Hardy oh enjoyed that that's really just that's such good fun even going around by yourself that's such good fun I love it I urge anyone who's watching to give this a go to try out these cars it's really 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 good fun just yeah even going around by yourself doing massive power slides throwing the car around really enjoy it but yeah guys I hope you did enjoy watching that live stream today um, Next thing that will be on this channel will be the live stream tomorrow of me commentating on round one of the Group 3 100 mile series. Uh, that's from Barthurst, so that should be interesting. Not sure if it's at night time or not, I don't think it is. But uh, yeah, that's what will be coming up tomorrow on the channel. And then the day after that will be round one of my Group 3 sprint series from Spa. Need to sort that out actually. Uh, but yeah, I hope you did enjoy watching that. Do feel free to like and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video. So, goodbye. As I need to end.